I'm Rick Holtz, and this is my wife, Colleen. We met when we were kids, and the rest is history. We had six kids, and then adopted five more from Costa Rica. Life with 11 kids is interesting, to say the least. Every day is a new adventure. This is Holata Holtz. This buzz of excitement all through the house, like uh, the kids are uh, really excited. We've got friends bumping in the house, just praying for us before they go. Um, grandparents are stopping in, brother and sister-in-law are stopping in. Uh, and it's just, a, uh, it's just neat to see uh, the family kind of rally around us and willing to do everything. You know, we, we're rushing out of the house and we still have a, a uh, a sink full of dishes and my mother-in-law's like don't worry about anything I wanna, I'm gonna clean up the whole kitchen I'll make sure everything's squared away it was just a good feeling you know walking out of the house and then uh, having the support of the family really close by and our close friends right there Does everybody have their passport? Um, no! Yes. Yeah. Where's my backpack? Where's your backpack? Oh my gosh. Mother! I don't have your backpack. I, I thought they loaded backpack. it. Oh I did. Oh, I should. I'll tell. Don't stress you your wife out, Rick. <laughs> Breathe, honey. <laughs> Three deep breaths from both of you. No. Uh, we picked Costa Rica because um, we were open to, um, we were actually open to domestic, we were open to um, open adoption to where we would have a relationship with the birth mother and um, we um, were open to older children. We thought, we thought we were only, you know, 11 or 12, but um, we were open to whatever, however the Lord led us. And, um, Costa Rica had a, a great need for sibling sets and that's what kind of led us to Costa Rica. We found out that there was a, a need for siblings to stay together and to not be separated that just it really broke my heart to think about them breaking up a family and they're already you know no mom or dad or um, but to separate them and um, and to bring them into our family, they already have some resemblance of a family, and and they I mean, studies say that sibling sets um, seem to jump in and bond quicker or easier. Or I always knew I wanted a big family, and then I knew I wanted to adopt, and so I told Rick, and I was like, so if you want to get married one day, <laughs> I was like, then. Um, I'm gonna have a big family, I'm gonna adopt. And he was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't think he thought I was serious. Through the, uh, through the years, uh, it's been a conversation off and on. Colleen's never been one to push me into adoption, but I struggled with adoption for, for a long time, early in our marriage. Just I just couldn't see how I could love, and it sounds horrible to say, especially now, I mean, just, breaks my heart that I, these words even came out of my mouth, but how could I love a child that is not biologically mine? What foolish words, looking back, what foolish words. But over time, patient wife, and a patient God softened my heart and broke my heart because that's what it took. So I was Every night, every night, I go out and I walk our road and I pray 
There was one night in particular, we had just finished watching the movie uh, Les Miserables, and uh, one of my favorite movies. It's a movie about adoption and about uh, love and loving the unlovable, or the world's view of the unlovable. And I was out praying one night and just, we were in a very low place. This is right as we were losing everything. We, uh, we were very broken at this point in our life. and. Um, I just felt the power and the presence of the Lord lay upon my heart a desire to adopt and I knew in that moment that I wanted to adopt and that it was going to be a part of our story. It took him it took him a lot of years but and, and we kind we kind of talk about it and then not and then um, one day he just came in just broken crying and um, he said we're gonna adopt and I was just like so excited. So when I got done praying, I knew instantly I had to run in and go tell Colleen we're going to adopt. Even though at that point we were not financially able, we were not in a position where we were ready, but I knew without a doubt I'm, my mind and my heart were 100% there. And that was the turning point. So tomorrow is a big day for our family. We're going to see our children for the very first time. Uh, a lot of emotions running through uh, my mind and my, my heart. Uh, everything from excitement, joy, anxiety, and they flood in different ways. And you feel different emotions at different times. And uh, tonight I got a little overwhelmed. Uh, like. A little overwhelmed with the feeling of fear and then I had to kind of recount the deeds and things that have happened and how the Lord has opened the door and has really gone before us and it's like all of a sudden as I start thinking about what led us to this point my confidence grows and I feel stronger and I'm getting excited again and it's just these these waves of emotions over and over. Tomorrow morning we're going up to La Fortuna to actually meet the kids and um fun and crazy and hard. We don't know. We don't speak Spanish. They don't speak English. So we're just going to wing it. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> so there's a little, there's a little apprehension just about the drive. It's a four hour drive is what they're saying. Uh, the trip is going to be, uh, but I am so ready. I just want to throw my arms around these kids and I just want to love them. I just want to love them, love them, love them.